has a lot to do with the fact that I have one of the most realest babes I've ever met in my life, point blank, period. And I'm talking from like probably when I was like 15, 16, man. And she hasn't changed a bit. It's no wonder that she found herself on the top 30 under 30 Forbes Africa list, you guy. 2020, the year where nothing is happening. This babe has made the most major moves, Yanni. I'm gushing. But anyway, um, we know the journey to where you are right now has not been easy. You're young. You're breaking barriers. It doesn't help the fact that you're a woman, that we live in the country that we live in, the state of the country that we live in. But somehow you're making it, which means it's been pretty, pretty tough. I want to know what was probably the biggest loss or the biggest sacrifice that you had to make to ensure that somehow you would be here, you know? Was it friends? Was it less time with family, you know? Was it, I had to read more, I had to save more. What was that one thing you say you had to lose for you to have gained all of this? Wow. You know, to, <laughs> okay, gain all of this. What is even all of this? Um, Are you crazy? <laughs> or what is all of this? <laughs> um, I think one of the things that was, you know, to be so true to myself that when I realized certain relationships were not nourishing me, were not building me, but were actually negating, they were taking away. And sometimes it's people who you love and you have to sometimes make that decision. And I think there's nothing harder in this world than having to say, you know what, I really love this friend or I really love this certain person, but they're not aiding to my growth. Mm -hmm. And for me right now, I need to really protect who I am, Amen. where I'm going and what I need to do yeah. and protect your energy. 